kind of a rough, rocky start. Uh, started out, well, that was within four yards. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. So I got my yardage card with me today. I made this. So I've got 148 yards to this par three. Don't know this group to clear. There's another group behind me. 148 yards is a perfect size nine seven iron, a size eight six iron, and it's pretty close to a size seven five iron. Um, it's downhill a little bit, so it's going to give me, you know couple yard advantage maybe but it's going to be all flight there's not going to be any roll so that'll take those couple of yards back so it should play pretty true to 148 um, I think I'm going to try and hit a size 8 6 iron here scale it down just a little bit so I hit the size 8 6 iron I overcooked it ended it left of the green and almost an impossible up and down um, had to pitch up to a bank that immediately sloped toward the hole. Played a beautiful short game shot, uh, but it, it just had no chance of being close to the hole, but I ended up about nine feet below it. Grazed the cup, bogey. All right, so we got a little bit of slow play today. Um, it's a beautiful morning. It's not too hot. Um, I'm on hole number five. This is a par five, 500 yards. Actually, 496, but I wanted to say three fives. Uh, um, kind of a rocky start, but scraped together a par on this last par three. So um, just trying to get comfortable, settle in. Well, this ought to be interesting. Wow, pretty great. All right, so the front side's over. Um, not great, but um, I think I'm, I'm doing a few things okay. So um, the, the back side at this course, uh, I've only played it one time before, but I know that it gets fairly tight. Uh, you can see as evidenced right here. <laughs> This is a 441 yard par five, but it's really tight and it's way uphill. Um, so this is not a driver hole. 
So the fact that it's 441 yards means absolutely nothing because you have to play a lesser club unless you're just lacing it straight with a driver. I'm not hitting driver off this tee. Uh, I'm actually going to tee off with a 5 iron. All right, so I hit a good solid tee shot. Uh, this is a 400 yard par four, uh, but as you can see, I'm over here on this side of the cart path. What I'm gonna be left with is a low shot under these tree branches to the pin tucked away a little bit to the right from me. So it's gonna have to have a little bit of cut spin. Um, people can't see me, I'm down in a depression. Now they're driving on top of me. Um, what I've learned today so far is that even though I felt like I was setting up left side dominant and left hand dominant um, my right hand is still trying to weasel its way in and that's the stab so the back nine so far is going okay not great but okay um, the left hand needs to be driving the swing, that much is for sure. I'm still having some issues with keeping this left shoulder pinned and just letting it go. Um, so between stillness, being left side dominant, and keeping the left shoulder pinned, the theory is, is that I should just be able to focus on stillness. And then if I'm being still, the left shoulder should move until after impact. If I'm in a left side dominant swing and I stay still, the left side should be controlling the shot. So it all comes back to just focusing on stillness. So here's the answer to that question. Uh, I felt like I did. I certainly was focused on it. The result, a low, weak hook. Ended me up here in a hook lie in the deep rough. Let's see what I can do. You can't even see that. It's right, but uh, not terrible considering that lie. Let's get up here and see what it is. Yeah, that last tee shot was not great, but um, the second shot was a pretty good recovery. I ended up a little bit long and just a little bit to the right of the green. Um, and you saw the chip shot. It wasn't my best chip shot, but you know I put it within what five feet. 
and then uh, made my putt. So my putting practice has definitely paid off. Um, I don't know what it is. In the last couple of weeks, my swing is just not feeling right. But you know, if you don't practice and you don't put in the work, you really don't have the right to complain about the results that you get. Um, so I, I can't blame anybody else but myself for that. Um, that said, I have hit some, some really good shots today. Um, but I've hit some real bad shots at the same time. Um, the score, I haven't added up yet, but I suspect it's probably going to be, I don't know, 82, 83, somewhere in that range. Um, just the way it feels. I try not to count my score up until I'm, I'm done and I'm back in the clubhouse or in my car on the way home. Found the fairway with the hybrid off the tee, about 200 yards. I've got 110 left. Man, I tell you, I hit a great tee shot on that par three. I was 143 yards away. Should have been a perfect nine iron. Uh, I hit a nine iron, and I came up about, what was that, eight yards short of the green? It's probably at least a full club when you consider the flag. Um, no explanation. Hit a great shot. Get my shoulder closed and everything. Great contact. Great penetrating ball flight. Just uh, came up short. This round's in the books. On my way home. Um, today was not an awful day, but it was certainly not what you would call um, a career day either. Uh, I did learn a few things. You have to get used to that that weird feeling. I thought I had gotten used to it, but that weird feeling where you're just letting the club fall without your shoulder moving and opening up. You feel like if you do that, the club's just going to fling underneath you and come flying out and you're going to stay in the same position and you're going to break your arm or you're going to, you know, fling the club or the wrong way. It just feels completely unnatural and instinctively your body just moves you out of that position um, that said I had my moments today I had some moments of really good um, really good things happening um, I can honestly say that my putting and my short game um, they impressed me today they, they they save me they keep me happy um, so many times I'm out of position off the tee or I'm out of position out of the fairway and my short game came through today I've been working on my short game I've been working on my putting so you know those things really came through for me um, off the tee not not a very great day um, but again not awful either. I had some good ones and I had some bad ones. Uh, where I really fell short today was hitting greens. Out of 18 greens to hit, I hit three. Three. Um, and it's not because my aim was off. Let me, let, me, let me rephrase that. Almost all of the time it wasn't because my aim was off. There was a couple of times where, you know, I missed it a little bit right or I missed it a little bit left. You know, that's probably my aim. But what really was costing me was my yardage. I was coming up, you know, a club to two clubs short um, coming into these greens. I don't really have an explanation for that other than, you know, I had to... I had to make something other than a circle, all right? We always talk about in this swing the importance of maintaining the center of the circle and letting the, the club whirl around you in as much of a circle as possible. Um, I feel like my, my short yardages are coming because I'm opening my shoulder 
and I'm changing that circle to more of an oval. Uh, an oval requires you to put in muscular power, uh, whereas a circle only requires that you maintain the center of the circle. So, you know, overall, I would say it was a good day. Um, not a great day, but a good day. You know, the weather held out for me. The course was in good shape. Uh, the greens were in good shape. Uh, I was putting and uh, pitching and chipping pretty well. So, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a vast improvement over last week. So, <laughs> you know, there's that.